Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in a way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. To the distinguished members of the administration, our school president, Sister Maria Edipa Pesi Abenisi, our vice president for academic, research, and Christian Vincentian formation, Dr. Dylan L. Abigliano, our vice president for student wellness and external linkages, Mrs. Casamira P. Rapo, our vice president for administrative services and finance, Sister Maria Daisy Beth de Maunahan DC, along with our guest sisters, including our community sister Servan, Sister Nieves P. Servito DC, Director for Christian Vincentian Formation, Sister Mayra Romana G. Marine DC, our Director for Guidance Services, Sister Nelly C. Nueva DC, our Director for Co Academics, Sister Salome Nicoloso, DC. Our sister in charge of the ghost, of the ghost, of the ghost, Echo Park. Sister Antonia R. Cortez, DC. Our school principal, Ms. Mrs. Freddy D. Ajano. Ms. Ms. Freddy D. Ajano. Mr. Godofredo S. Inay. Our esteemed faculty, other SNMCS personnel, proud parents and guardians, honored guests, Mr. Angeles Algovendas Jr., our K-10 academic coordinator, Ms. Fatima Hanapan, and fellow graduates, our mentors, to I stand here at this moment overwhelmed with immense amount of gratitude. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank those who have made this possible. We want to give gratitude to the countless individuals who have played a role in shaping our journey, supporting our dreams, and pushing us to reach new heights. First and foremost, our Lord Jesus Christ. To the highest and lows of our academic venture, it is your grace that has sustained us, your wisdom that has illuminated our paths, and your presence that has given us hope and strength. For your boundless love and guidance, we thank you. Every series has its parts. Let us think of the memories we have created as a trilogy series, like Narnia, or Lord of the Rings, or maybe The Hobbit. They all have beginnings, endings, and of course, plot twists. My story that I am about to share, this is one among the many significant experiences we, my fellow graduates, each hold. Truly, we all have our own significant stories to share, and for that, allow me to begin mine by sharing my experiences as an innovation Vincentian student for two years. I came from a national high school in my municipality. It was for a fact that I knew I would never in my life enter an institution like this because I was well aware that we are financially constrained to enter this kind of institution. However, it was unfortunate that my previous school still didn't have this chance that I was about to take. I told myself I could still do it. Kahit hindi bagay sa future college course, kahit hindi na alayin sa magiging career path ko, okay lang, I can still do it. However, Fortunately and unknowingly, my mother decided to enroll me here. The reason why she did so, siyempre, love niya ako. Second, second, she's a proud graduate. 
Academy of this institution. Former teacher student ko siya dito. She always shares stories about her life here and how kind that these sisters were to her. And now that I have truly and experienced it directly, though I am not close with the sisters as much as my mama was, I can say that it is ultimately true. In our adventure as grade 11 students, we were stuck mainly at the four corners of our homes. Google with sa calculus, basic calculus, BS, general mathematics, practical research, general biology, AIA. We weren't even able to communicate properly with our classmates as it seemed so awkward to do so. The pandemic has affected us all deeply. Disrupting our studies and leaving us exhausted and uninspired. From numerous bombarding burdens of our online classes, from the only essays to only infographics, only posters to synthesis and values integration questions, to, of course, the disastrous worries we felt every day, worrying for the people we love. My fellow graduates, please allow yourselves, allow ourselves to feel and savor this moment. Despite being one year late, we all made it. In the face of adversity, we have found resilience. Then came the second movie full of plot twists. Last full year, face-to-face -face learning was unimaginable, as if all hopes were lost after so much news about the pandemic ending in 2025, right? It was a huge surprise for us when new normal and limited face-to-face -face mode of learning were announced. At last, the beginning of a new era. Please take a moment to recall your first memorable experience as a student in a new normal setup. As for me, I remember myself being in my boarding house. Oh, ano? Mali ka na. Mali na. Mali na kami pala. Sabi, sabi na sa mama. Mali na kami. Kompleto ka na diyan. As a tear, a noticeably drops from my eye as well as my siblings and parents as they do. As a consistent honor student, it was my medals, honors, and certificates that made my family, friends, and even strangers proud of me. Sinda mama, after the retreat, siyempre alam na nila since parang hindi si mama before. Sabi niya sa kuya, sabi niya sa kuya, ano ang music, ano ang music, sabi mo, sabi mo sa mga classmates mo, when you had a sharing of chocolates, sabi niya, sabi ko, siyempre, secret ko lang ito. <laughs> now, this is what I've told my classmates. The reason why I'm always trying to strive for the best in everything that I do, Maybe in project making, in conducting research, in filmmaking, in being a student body student president, playing as a student athlete, achieving high scores and exams, always trying to have something to say despite not even knowing or not being completely familiar with a certain topic is that this is how I think I can repay them. In the past, many have called me words like Pabibo, Pabita. I never understood why. Is it wrong to be one? Now that I'm older, I am glad that I have embraced it. Because I know that through this, I can always receive a simple Go Lana or Diva yung kuya from my parents, ates, and younger siblings. Sobrang worth it na kang pagalit ko. Mahilig ko na mga na maugma. Maugma na ako. Mama, Papa, thank you for all your sacrifices. 
Ate EC Creator D. Thank you for the help. Alam ko, mapagal kasi sa so, mga ganyan. Sa kita, sa mga ganyan. Pero thank you. Thank you always. Mama, Papa, Ate EC, Ate May, Jan Jan, Joy. Para ini sa inyo. Sana mo ako makamu na na-achieve ko yun yung yan. Matapaulong ko ako. Thank you so much, Ho. As we gather here, I'm 
reminded to reflect on the impact our teachers have had on our lives. Like the artisans who craft delicate tapestries, our teachers have woven a rich fabric of knowledge, compassion, and inspiration, intricately stitching together the threads of our education. With that, I urge everyone to realize the remarkable efforts of our educators, not only with our words, but also through our actions. Let us remember that true appreciation lies in creating an environment where they can succeed and continue to inspire generations to come. In this intricate tapestry of education, we must ensure that every stitch is valued and respected. By advocating for policies like service credits, among others, that enable their professional growth and well-being, we can create an environment where they can truly flourish, granting them to create an even greater impact on the lives of future generations. Let me also take this moment to express gratitude to various people who have, in one way or another, helped me in achieving things in my 12th grade journey. Atene and Ate Melody, sila po si Nagitinda sa Hidden or sa White Gate, na kalenderiya. Ate Ali and Yesha. At si Yesha. Mga work po, thank you sa, thank you sa ano, tubig. Huwag na rin, di ba? Thank you sa tubig, sa pots, pa. Last time, di nakita ko nakaan. Naka-face. Thank you. Sir Guard, thank you po sa pagiging sir. Yet, kahit na madaling ka usapan, may pero na especially na subject teacher and of course, na principal. To the parents who have always supported us, the students, in our academics and the board, we thank you. To my friends outside this institution, thank you for always being there. This speech wouldn't end without me taking my two best advisors. I know you read my, my speech already, that's why I didn't add this part. On the paper I gave you because I want this to be the first time that you hear this. I will be quoting from the speech I should have given you when we celebrated Valentine's Day. Quote, from the outset of classes until now, you always make us feel loved and appreciated. Iba sa Matayala, among all our advisors for the past 12 years of us being a student, you are one of our favorites, if not our most favorite. If there will be one advisor that we will choose again and again and again, we will always choose you. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Yes, God. 
that our graduation ceremony has come to an end. Before we finally close this event, the administrators and faculty of the senior high school of St. Louis Nevada College of Source of Incorporated would like to extend our deepest gratitude to you, our dear parents, for entrusting to us the education of your child. We greatly appreciate the trust you have given us. We would like to assure you that we will continue to give quality, Catholic good sanction, education, and formation to the young entrusted to our peer. To all of you, thank you very much and congratulations to our great old graduates. May your goals and dreams be realized as the wish of the extension students. May you continue to uphold the extension values handed on to you by your mentors and most of all, continue to be a blessing to others, especially to the poor, the lords and masters of all, the members of the extension family. Together, let us all the Catholic Extension Education handed to us by St. Louis de Marla College of Source of God Incorporated, for this is our key towards quality of life, not only for us but also for those living in poverty situations. For this is the driving force that will lead us to help others, especially the less privileged in our society. The graduates will now render their graduation song in light of promise which is originally composed by Shen Kulin and the Zabal with the honors. <laughs>
To welcome us to this program, may I call on Alexa G. Nina Scarba. We have high honor. Our school president, Dr. Belenel Domingiano, Vice President for Academics, Research, and Christian Intention Formation, Mrs. Cosimira Dinarabo, Vice President for Student Wellness and External Linkages, Sister Marila de Isabel de Maunahan, DC, Vice President for Administrative Services and Finance, Sister Nevis P. Servito, DC, Sister Servant of Sorsogal, DC Community, Sister Mayra Ruela Jen Dumarine, DC, Christian Dissension Formation Director, Dean of the Higher Education Department, Sister Nettie Nueva, DC, Director for Guidance Services and Other Daughters of Charity Sisters, Ms. Freddy D. Ahero, our school principal, Mrs. Elena B. Dogo, Senior High School Track Coordinator, Ms. Catherine A. Cura, Student Affairs Coordinator, Ms. Judeline J. Bolanos, Formation Officer, Mr. Guilofredo Asile II, Campus Minister, Faculty Members, Parents, Visitors, Support Service Personnel, and my fellow Lucasian and Vincentian graduates, a pleasant afternoon to all of you. This year's graduation theme, Lucasian graduates molded to our resilient Vincentian Educational Foundation, emphasizes that we Lucasians are capable of overcoming any challenge that may come in our way. Today is the day that we will be referred to as senior high school graduates. It was year 2021 when we began our journey as senior high school students and met each other through online distance learning with hopes and dreams alongside us. And now, we've arrived at the end of this path, celebrating this momentous day in person to acknowledge the result of our hard work and dedication to our studies. And finally, to go our separate ways and pursue our dream professions. In our senior high school journey, we've gone through ups and downs. There are battles we face, problems endured, and struggles we've overcome while being a student, a child, and an individual. We've shared laughter and cries through our successes and failures in life. Those were the nights spent reviewing notes for quizzes and exams, and those restless days spent completing activities, assignments, projects, and researches, and how we worried about numerous deadlines. But despite this, we triumphed over it and made it worthwhile. We built a relationship with the people around us that we 
eventually cared about. And those individuals who joined us in this one of a kind journey. We've learned how to turn your connections to adversity through thick and thin. It was indeed an unforgettable journey for all of us. I am happy to say that our efforts have finally paid off, and I know that we are all prepared to move on to the next significant phase of life beyond senior high school. And this day is all about recognizing and celebrating the accomplishments of each graduating student. Let us also recognize those who remain with us and serve as our support system. Our parents and guardians who serve as our inspiration and motivation. Our teachers who serve as our second parents, help us shape our knowledge and develop our potential. Our classmates and friends who were there for us during the most difficult time, who helped us with our studies and became our companion that made our senior high school memorable. And above all, we praise our Almighty Father for all the gifts and talents He shared to us, for helping us in carrying the burdens we face in life, and turned us into braver and bolder ones. He was graced and comforted us with his love and provided us hope and light throughout our journey and will continue to guide us as we take the next steps of our lives. This graduation is not the end of our journey, but the beginning of another and even greater adventure in our lives. Not the end of challenges and obstacles, but the beginning of countless opportunities and a new life with a mission. Let us embrace what lies ahead and continue to dream and achieve our goals in the glory of God while embodying the values we acquired in this school, our alma mater. May we remember that life is a collection of memories and that our experiences in this institution have played a huge role in shaping our lives and who we are as we wish I and the essential students. I am Eliza J. K. Lascano, and I'd like to welcome you all to the sixth graduation exercises of Batch of 2022 to 2023. Thank you very much, and God bless us all. Thank you, Eliza. Now, may we call up Ms. Maria Mark, the M. Malate, Master in Business Administration, School Registrar, for the presentation of the candidates for graduation, and Sister Maria Felipa Fessi Haven, Daughters of Charity, School President, for the confirmation. Sister Maria Filippa Fessi Haven, Daughter of Charity, our School President, I have the honor to present to you the Senior High School Candidates for Graduation for School Year 2022-2023, composed of Accountancy, Business and Management, 23, Humanities and Social Sciences, 26, General Academic Strand, 44, Technical Vocational Livelihood Track 40. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics 133. A total of 266 students. Since all the candidates presented have fulfilled and completed all the requirements prescribed for in their course of study, by the school and the Department of Education, we, the school principal and the faculty, respectfully request that they be confirmed as senior high school graduates. By the power of the authority vested upon me, as President of St. Louis Imaria College of Sotogon Incorporated, I hereby accept and confirm the 266 page bill, 6 batch graduates for school year 2022 2023. 
for a satisfactory legal given the school and department education requirements. Graduates, tassels to the right. You are the ready and eligible to enroll in college. Have your own business or apply for a job. Congratulations. At this time, we come to the distribution of diplomas, certificates, and the awarding of honors and co-curricular awards. Sister Maria Filipa Fresina Bendisi, School President, and Ms. Freddy Ahero, the Basic Education Department School Principal, will distribute the certificates, medals, and ribbons to this year's awards. They will be assisted by Mrs. Elena Vitoco, Senior High School Track Coordinator, Mr. Angeles Alcobendas, Jr., Gubat Campus Principal, Mrs. Casimira Harapo, Student Wellness and External Languages Vice President, Sister Salome Lomoso, DC, Sister Nelly, DC, Nueva DC, and Sister Nieves Servito, DC. The parents of the awards are requested to come up on stage to receive the certificates and win the medal or ribbon for their child. Let them come up. Brandon Tadeo Brandon will receive certificate of recognition as a participant in Victoria Morian Youth Night.
Special Award and Peer Facilitators Gold Medalist. She also received a special award and special and perfect attendance for the school year 2022 to 2023. And also, she is a loyalty awardee, Bronze Medalist.
Joseph Gabriela on 